Cebu has demonstrated its capability with an excellent economic track record. It's also the second largest city and the fastest growing economy in the Philippines. Cebu is based over 80% of inter-island shipping capacity in the Philippines and is the tourism gateway for Central and Southern Philippines. And because it's the most accessible place in the Philippines, with more domestic air and sea linkages than Manila. Cebu's export growth rate for the past five years has averaged close to 20%, considerably higher than that of the country and any other province in the Philippines. Its labor force is oriented towards non-agricultural lines and is one of the most productive in the country. Since it's not in an earthquake zone or typhoon belt, nor are there volcanoes in the island, Cebu has one of the best records for peace and order in the country, and the development of its infrastructure is balanced. It has all the ingredients necessary to be competitive and sustain investments. It is a cosmopolitan area with all the support facilities and amenities needed for an ideal lifestyle. Cebu's modern communication links utilizes satellites, cellular telephone networks, and routine land-based telephone services. High-quality broadband links and IDD services are available and compatible with systems worldwide. Direct links are maintained with over 116 countries. Cebu has a very high density of computer installations and full access to the internet. Radio and television broadcast services are popular advertising mediums. Cable TV is installed over a wide area. In BPAP, we provide investor advisory services uh, customized exactly to what you need. We can identify the right suppliers, the right people, the right places, at the right cost for whatever it is you need to do in the Philippines to make your business better and more competitive. So if you're interested in coming to the Philippines, please do drop by BPAP and we'd be happy to help. I'm Alejandro Melchor III. I'm the Deputy Executive Director of the Department of Science and Technology's ICT office. I'm tasked with driving the growth of the ICT industry nationwide. If you're thinking about BPO, Discover the best kept secret in global offshoring and outsourcing. Come visit the Philippines and you, you'll see the full service of the entire government of the Philippines led by my office. I am Mon Ibrahim. I'm a Deputy Executive Director of the Information and Communications Technology Office of the government. I am responsible for developing the right policies IT policies that is, IT governance, and IT standards. Our IT BPO industry in the Philippines has grown to become a major contributor to the Philippine economy. And our office is responsible for coming up with the right policies to sustain this growth. And if there are companies are seriously thinking of locating in the Philippines, you talk to us and we'll make things happen for you. Hi, my name is Brad Norman. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Taking You Forward. The main reason why we came to the Philippines is because we found the workforce with very strong English skills, uh, good strong education and an ability not only to support customers but also to sell and sell very well. We opened the doors in December 2008 and since then we have grown to over 500 full-time employees. I find uh, Cebu, or in particular the Philippines, to be a fantastic place to do business and to I am work. Jeff Williams. I am the chairman of the Health Information Management Outsourcing Association of the Philippines. I am also the president of Medical Philippines. We uh, came here to the Philippines in 2004, starting with three nurses. Today we're just shy of 1,000 and we were attracted to the area simply with the uh, culturization similarities between the Philippines and the United States and most importantly the high level degree of medical professionals that exist in this country. Uh, interesting fact is 6% of all foreign born trained nurses in the United States um, come from outside the United States, 50% of them come from the Philippines, so by and large the largest source of medical uh, providers for the United States. Um, if you are looking to come to the Philippines and, and you're looking for outsourcing help with work, please look us up. We can certainly help you out, either myself from Medical or through the association from Himalayan. I am Bob Love. I'm Finance Director of uh, Trax Technologies Asia Inc. It's a subsidiary of a US uh, major organization. We're specializing in the management of logistics for major 
global organizations, particularly in the IT industry. The Philippines, uh, particularly because of the English language, the strong English language, uh, well-educated workforce, and not only well-educated, but they're also very keen to develop and learn, and it's, all, it's easy to bring a team on uh, in the Philippines because uh, they, want to, they want to succeed and they want to grow and develop. By all means, give me a call if you're needing assistance and support with your uh, logistics businesses. We can do anything you need. Please do call. I am Attorney Giselle Batapasike. I am currently the chairperson of the National ICT Confederation of the Philippines. The National ICT Confederation of the Philippines, or NICP for short, is composed of more than 35 ICT councils helping more than 35 locations in the Philippines to promote cities and provinces for ICT BPO investments. If you come to the Philippines, please allow us to help you. Reach out to us because we're here to help you get your business up and running. Hi, my name is Mike Conroy. I'm with Talk BPO. We are BPO Consultancy located in Manila, the Philippines. Talk BPO is a consultancy company which actually helps companies to outsource to the Philippines from Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Ireland, and as far as the Middle East. So if you're interested in outsourcing to the Philippines, please contact us on talkbpo.com where we can align you with um, articulated, motivated uh, call center agents. Jojo Ligan, Executive Director, Contact Center Association of the Philippines. We uh, run call center companies in the Philippines and we promote the Philippine capabilities in the call center industry. Come, if you're interested to, to do business in the Philippines, welcome, mabuhay. That's our translation for English, welcome. Hi, this is Kling Lakson of CB Richard Ellis Handling Cebu Markets. If you're looking to locate here in Cebu for your BPO operations, we can help you provide and identify um, either greenfield um, sites or existing buildings ranging from 10,000 square foot to 20,000 square foot, um, approximately at $84 per annum. So hopefully, see you in I Cebu. am Prudencio Hesta, the president of Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And at the same time, I'm working as per senior vice president of Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation. If you are thinking to invest in the Philippines, think of Cebu and get in touch with Cebu Chamber of Commerce. And for your banking needs, you can call me at RCBC. See you soon in Cebu.